This is an end grain cutting board. It's fresh out of clamps, and it's of course got some wobble to it. But we're gonna fix that by flattening it with the Route and Plane Benchtop Board Mill. To start this process, I'm just clamping down a scrap sheet of particle board to my workbench. I'm gonna be putting some screws into this, so I figured I'd rather screw into this rather than my bench. Next, I like to just roughly lay out where I want my board to be, and then I'll make a couple reference lines that I can extend out using a T-square. This gives me a nice corner to align my board to make setup easier throughout the flattening process. Now, before we can actually get to flattening this board, we gotta secure it in place. And to do that, I like to use some double-sided tape to just roughly hold the board down while I install the slab clamping dogs. And to install these slab clamping dogs, I like to set them both in place just on one side, and then I'll make a mark where my bottom screw is gonna go. And I'll carry that line down uh, so that I can ensure that both clamping dogs are equal distance away from the board. It just makes the setup process easier for me. Then once I do the one side, I move over to the other side and I just secure that bottom screw in place. And this is a shorter screw, so it doesn't go all the way through the three quarter inch particle board. Then I like to come back through with a one and a quarter inch screw, and that will just firmly secure the clamping dogs in place. And I really like using these slab clamping dogs because it keeps the board firmly in place and this board's not going to move anywhere while we flatten it. Next, I need to adjust the height of the routing plane. It's sitting a little high right now for the cutting board that we're going to be flattening. So to adjust the height, just loosen these two red knobs and then I can bump the ski up a notch, which will just lower the routing plane and bring it down closer to the top of our cutting board. The last bit of setup work that's left is to just center our router on the routing plate. And to do that, I have this alignment disc installed on my trim router. And I just put that in the routing plane and then adjust the router guides up until they're snug against each side. And then I'll just tighten them in place. And once everything's all snugged up, I just like to push the router back and forth and just ensure that it glides freely. Now to flatten this cutting board, I'm gonna be using one of our spoil board bits. And then I'm gonna adjust my router so that I'm taking off a little more than a 16th of an inch of material. Now you'll see that I start this cut by pulling the router towards me, which causes the edge of my board to chip out quite a bit because the rotation of the bit is actually pulling the wood fibers away from the cutting board. Pay attention to how I start my cut on the other side to avoid this from happening again. But for now, this is all it took to flatten the first side. I just kept continuing down the cutting board until I had one perfectly flat surface. With one side all done, I flipped over my cutting board and then secured it back in place with the slab clamping dogs. This time when I started the cut, I avoided the edge while pulling the router towards me. And then I cleaned it up on the next pass while pushing the router. With the router bit rotating towards the cutting board instead of away, I was left with a much nicer cut. Other than that slight change, flattening the second side was just as easy as flattening the first side. After just a few minutes of flattening, I was left with a perfectly flat cutting board. The Routen Plane Benchtop Board Mill can flatten boards up to 15 inches wide, but we also offer an XL version, which increases your flattening capacity to 24 inches. Other than the size difference, it functions exactly the same as the original size. 
If you're interested in either option, there's a link directly below this video that will take you to the ordering page. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment below with any questions you have and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time.